right guys, it is Monday, May 13th. Coming to you from my wife's car this morning, actually, not in my truck. I had to run Bruno to school. We got field day today. A lot going on here. But I've got three stops to make here this morning before we get back to the sawmill. And uh, I'm gonna stop at the convenience store because I'm thirsty. I'm gonna go by Napa to get some new gloves and uh, stop by a tree service on the way, probably on the way back from Napa. It's just up from my house. They got a large pile of logs they're compiling in front of their lot. Kind of talk to those guys and see what their plans are. Maybe buying some logs from them, or if they're wanting rid of them, we'll go get them for free. So, uh, gotta see what's going on with that. First stop here is going by the convenience store. And here in the south, there's a Walmart on every corner. We have like three Walmarts in this town, and our population is like 55,000 in this city, so it's pretty small to have that many Walmarts. But we also have something else called the Little Walmart. And around here, when you talk about the Little Walmart, you're talking about the dollar store. There's a dollar store on every corner in this area. In this state, I drove up through Kentucky to Indianapolis to Woodmiser last week, and. You know, there was a, there was a uh, dollar store in every corner just about. So, uh, if you hear somebody talk about Little Walmart in the South, referring to the dollar store. course of these first few videos here with the new mill and we'll try to go over some of these different attachments or accessories rather and what they do here as far as our sawing goes and this first one we'll go over today here briefly is the debarker now this thing is spring loaded and its main purpose is it has a small blade down here at the bottom it's like a circle blade and it knots the bark off and it's lined up in the same path of the blade so your blade pretty much gets less bark on it when it's cutting and clears the path because bark has you know gravel in it and dirt and all that stuff which makes a blade go dull a whole lot faster.
should be some really nice crotch figure hiding right here. Oh yeah, right there it is. Man, that's nice. Never gets old. I don't care if I sawed up 100 walnut logs, which is probably what I do year round. I never get tired of revealing this grain right here. Every one of them looks different. Got a little void right here in the middle. It doesn't go too deep. Doesn't look like, maybe a half inch. Of course, that's no big deal right there. Put some black tinted epoxy down in here. It'll blend right in. Let's throw some water on this one, see how it looks. It is so nice having a sawmill capable of cutting this wide right here, not having to trim off and hope it fits through the sawmill. For that reason alone, that sawmill is worth every penny right there. The wide head is the only way to go for doing these wide slabs like this. Got that void right there in this one. And on this one, it goes all the way through. Got some really nice figure coming down through this one as well. Yeah, these are nice slabs. These are highly valuable slabs. These are 29 inches wide, nine quarter, eight foot long. Each one of these slabs are 33 board feet. You know, on slabs like this, you know, it's, it's $15 a board foot ranging up. So you do the math and there's a lot of money right here once these are dried.